Hey, this is Vinayak Mathur from VM Graphics Solutions. This tutorial series will I'll be teaching you how to go through Adobe After Effects CC basics and uh, whatever basic requirements you need to have to go from scratch to actually a bit decent looking animations or visual effects. Today I'll be working basically on the user interface of Adobe After Effects CC. It's absolutely same to Adobe After Effects CS6 except of one additional new features CC which is the Creative Cloud by Adobe where you can actually collaborate or put your stuff in on a cloud server storing capacity which actually I haven't used or is of least worth. So let's get started. Let's click on Adobe After Effects CC. This is the 2014 release. This takes a couple of minutes to actually boot up. Oh, sorry, this was pretty quick. So this is how it would look. You just don't need to have to pay attention to this dialog box. It's most a worth. There. So this is your user interface for Adobe After Effects CC. Though it allows customizable user interface which you can actually use these bars to actually undock or dock to different positions but the default one looks pretty good to me if you want to change any just click on the top tab change the position put it into a different top position just click close your button and that's it suppose I have to get back to the work space I was in earlier and I forgot what was the actual location I can just go back into this workspace button over here and reset standard it will ask me if I'm sure to do it click on yes and you'll get back to the same starting point this is your project window where all your raw files would be assembled as a library it's mostly usable if you are working on a high-end kind of a project which has about hundred thousand hundreds or thousands of raw materials like images or intros movie clips sounds etc they all get assembled over here this is a tab which shows how you if you want to interpret your footage this is a create new folder you can club all your raw files like all the images into a one folder named as image this button right here allows you to create a new composition which is the basic of Adobe After Effects without a composition you cannot do anything this is the bits per channel I guess if I'm not wrong yeah bits per channel you can do it up till 32 bits per channel which is not actually used for basic users that's for high end working stuff etc and this as you know is a trash button used for deleting stuff this pane over here this right where my mouse is scrolling this is called as the timeline of the software this is where your instance of all the materials from your library which you bring into the stage appear this only activates after I create a new composition this over here is the basic stage area or the workspace of After Effects where all your animations are done. I'll show you one after I explain the whole user interface. These are multiple tabs, audio settings, info, preview tab, effects and presets. Each will be done differently in consecutive videos. There are a couple of presets which are already coming with Adobe After Effects CC. And right over here, it's the menuer as common as all these softwares. Also, simple ones like Microsoft Paint have done. The difference comes here with these composition layer effect animation tabs. Suppose you want to have, you can't see any of these tabs. 
you can go over to window and check or uncheck those specified ones you can also bring more of them and the, these will appear as a new window you can obviously hold the tab and just lock it to close that you can simply go to these three buttons you'll find in every pane and just say close group or close panel now so this is basic of the user interface now let me show you how to create a new composition just click over here or control plus n on your keypad this will show up a composition settings where you can place your name I would say demo basic settings are good for a basic user presets like I work with a high definition television 1080p 30 frames per seconds approx and you can log the aspect ratio and do custom settings you can change the pixel aspect ratios as per the camera which you are using frame rates etc resolutions whatever your personal choices you can calculate your frames or the duration of your composition you want to make background color as per your choice and then click ok this will create a new stage now you can see there is a stage working over here which you can actually zoom in zoom out and rather just zooming it zooming out via the scroll bar of your mouse or you can physically go over here to the simple sizes as per numericals if you want to work with those these can be resized as per like these this is the basic timeline which I was talking of you can scrub through this over here you can add elements like text, solid, light, camera, null object, shape layer, adjustment layer etc I'll discuss each of them in the consecutive videos coming and that's pretty much of the user interface so I hope you liked the video if you liked it please click on the like button hit subscribe and for any queries please put your comments put those queries in the comment box down below thank you